In this final video, um, I'll be talking about what to do after you hand in your dissertation. Obviously, you've probably handed it in, but you've got a lot of data saved, perhaps many files as we've discussed. What to do after? If you're a student at the University of Edinburgh, everything you save in your M drive or your cloud storage will be saved for a whole year after you graduate. But once that year is passed, it will all be automatically deleted. So what to do if you want to preserve it, perhaps even share it for others to see or others to even maybe reuse the data you've collected. My advice to think about the possibility of using uh, data repositories. Now, if you don't know what those are, they are simply like a very large library, but instead of um, published work, just data, just loads and loads and loads of different kinds of data. Now, for students at Edinburgh University, there is something called uh, DataShare, and you can go onto the DataShare website and investigate um, how the process of depositing your, your files, if you wish to do so. For students that maybe are watching this video that are not at Edinburgh University, I would recommend contacting your institution and seeing if they have any data repositories that they um, support and ask them about how to deposit your data if this is something you would be interested in. But again, this is just, it's not mandatory, it's just an option that I thought it'd be useful for you to know if you wanted to do that. And it is particularly useful if you want to go on and maybe pursue a master's or even a PhD in the future. This is the last video of the series. I hope you've enjoyed the series of videos and also the handbook. Um, and I hope you found some useful tips uh, to help you with your dissertations.